everyone, welcome to the newest segment of my vlog. Welcome to Food Fight! Here in Food Fight, we're going to compare two restaurants which typically serve the same, exactly the same thing, and we're going to compare them in terms of price, presentation, and more importantly, taste. Today, we're going to compare two great shakes here in Boracay. We're going to pit Jonas versus Joni's. Let's go. in Jonas uh, Fruit Shake and Snack Bar. So it's in Station 2. They used to have a, uh, a store in Station 1, but it's now closed. They're now here in Station 2 near the gift station. Let's go inside. What are we going to have? Uh, mango banana. Mango I got the uh, banana mango shake and my wife got the, what's this one? Banana vanilla. Banana vanilla shake. So I'll try both. They say that this is their best seller, so let's give it a shot. So presentation wise, you can see it's in a plastic container with a paper straw, which is not bad, but the plastic container, mm, not really eco-friendly. Now for the price, how much is this? 130? It's like 130 pesos for this drink. Now, the real test is the taste. Let's try it. Mm. It's quite good. It's quite good. It's real. It's smooth. Um, it's a real strong mango taste. It's quite sweet. Um, it's a bit smooth. Yeah. Overall, it's it's still pretty good. It's still the same Jonas that uh, Jonas fruit shake that we love. And like so let me try the other one thank you my beautiful assistant <laughs> so let's try this uh, other milkshake it's good vanilla ish it's a bit on the sweet side uh, the shakes that they have is a bit on the sweet side so it's, it's okay on a hot day so let's see how Joni's compares to the milkshake of Jonas. Let's go.
We're now here at Joni's and we're going to try some of their fruit shakes and see how they compare with Jonas. Pineapple, mango, banana. Isang banana banela po. Tapos gano'n nakatagal yung Jonis? Ah, tagal po sa since 1982 pa kasi yung contest. 82? Oh, talaga? Yeah. Parang hindi namin napapansin masyado. Oo. Oh. Kasi ito ito po yung kwarto, original project po yung Murakay po mami. Jonas po talaga. Ano si Jonas? Sumun kailan yun? Uh, para parang huli na po yun ng Jonas po sir eh. Mas nauna po ito yung sa Jonas po. Ito para po sa Jonas po. Pero dati wala kayo dito di ba? Ati, ito na po talaga yung place namin po. Station 1, right? Apo. Yung Jonas po dati may place po sa uh, sila dyan ba? Aside from fruit shakes, they also serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And aside from that, they have a 21-room boutique hotel. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy shake, Thank you. Hey guys, so we're now here and we already have our orders. I got the pineapple mango banana shake and my wife got the banana vanilla shake. So presentation-wise, the good thing about this place is you can actually dine in and they serve the drinks in these old-school dairy bottles with metallic straws. The takeout ones come in paper cups and uh, paper straws, which is quite eco-friendly. Now the price, this is like 160 this is 130 pesos, so it's not far off from Jonas. Now, the real test is the taste. Let's try first the pineapple mango banana. Let's go. This is so smooth, it's so creamy, but it's not overly sweet. And you can taste pineapple, mango, and the banana. It is really good. Now, let's try this one, the uh, banana vanilla. This is the true winner here. This is really good vanilla. I have to say sorry to my wife. I'm not trying to finish this drink, wife. Love you. <laughs> okay. Um, I really like this one. It's really smooth. It's really vanilla. It's not really sweet. It's good for people like me who are not, you know, who do not have sweet toots. It's just really a really good shake. It's really delicious. So. Later, we'll give our thoughts at the end of the vlog as to who won this food fight challenge. Right. Cut. Who won the first ever food fight? So let's compare the two. In terms of price, Jonas is a bit cheaper than Joni's. Simply because they are priced at 130 pesos, so I ordered a mango banana shake. In Joni's, on the other hand, 160 pesos, simply because I ordered three fruits. We have pineapple, mango, and banana. So clearly, Jonas is a bit ahead in terms of price, simply because they're a little bit cheaper. Now, in terms of presentation, the Jonas, the store that we went to, didn't have a dining store, so they served their drinks in these uh, plastic containers with the uh, paper straw. While in Jonas, they have a dining option, so they serve the drinks in these really nice uh, glass dairy bottles with a metallic straw. Now, the takeaway or takeout option is served in paper cups and with a paper straw. So clearly, in terms of presentation and being eco-friendly, uh, Joni's takes the cake on this one. Now, the most important thing is the taste. So who won in this area? If you are a sweet tooth and you like really sweet uh, desserts or drinks, 
then I'd probably say go with Jonas. But if you're like me and you like things that are a little less sweet, more subtle, and you can taste individual fruits in your drink, then I'd say go with Joni's. Now, on a side note, Jonas was initially located in Station 1, but they've since moved to Station 2. Uh, Joni's is located still in uh, Station 1, so if you're like me and you're a little bit lazy and you don't want to go walking around in the heat of the, under the heat of the sun, then I definitely say go where it's most convenient for you. But personally, I'd prefer Joni's because again, I'm not a sweet tooth and I love how creamy it is and how you can taste the individual fruits that are in the drink. But again, it's really up to you. Whatever you prefer, go with it. That's it for this first episode of Food Fight. Ciao, and I'll see you again. Goodbye. Food.